And so when Greg Hayes says, look, they may be pushing a little bit too hard, we'll be there with the engines if they need the engines, but they may be a little too optimistic about where the industry is and future growth. What's your reaction to that? Well, Greg and I have had some very uh, direct discussions about that, and I would just say I, I respectfully um, disagree at this point. Now, again, we are constantly reevaluating where we are. Today, as we look forward and, and the demand we see from customers, and again, customers are asking us to bring airplanes forward, not push them out. So to accommodate customers, to ensure that we have airplanes available, I, in our view, the, that ramping up is an important next step. The speed of that is the question, not whether we need to ramp up. So Greg certainly has input. We talk to him. We talk to other suppliers. But importantly, we talk to our customers around the world. And we think the aggregation of that information is what drives us in terms of where we need to be in ramp up. As you ramp up production, Jeff, how worried are you about the supply chain? So many industrial companies are talking about being unable to do what they want to do because the supply chain just cannot meet their needs, uh, either now or for future production, so they're going to have to scale things back. How worried are you about the supply chain? It, it's something we're, we're laser focused on. Um, at the moment, the supply chain is, is working for us. I would say um, in terms of the evolution of our um, system of evaluating the, the uh, supply chain, it's better than it's ever been. We are const in constant dialogue, not with just the tier ones like, like Greg and others, but all the way down to two, three, and four. And we're looking at their operational performance and financial resources. All those things are really, really important. Now, right now, it's, it's working well. We have to continue to monitor that. We would expect there will be some disruptions. Obviously, we try to get away from single supplier situations where we can shift when possible. But as you know, Phil, this is a very complex supply chain. And because of that, we have to be really rigorous in how we manage that. Jeff, right behind you is the new A220 for Breeze Airways. They're going to take delivery a little bit later on today. You know, Breeze and other startups around the world are targeting secondary cities for future air travel growth. When you look at that market, do you see as much growth potential as some of these airlines see? Because increasingly I hear people say, look to the secondary markets. The hubs are always going to be important, but the secondary markets is where the growth is going to take place over the next 10, 15 years. We do see the opportunity, but the opportunity in some ways is tied with their ability to service it. So if you look at the 220, that airplane, in our, my humble opinion, is a very unique airplane. It's an airplane that it is in the 130 to 160 seat category. It, it has a feel just like a mainline airplane and essentially is a small mainline airplane but also gives you the economics, and this is really important, as you know, Phil, it gives you the economics to succeed in those smaller markets. So when you look at smaller markets, you look at smaller densities in terms of passengers, and the combination of the economics of the airplane, the flexibility of the airplane, and this is an airplane, you know, it, as you know, smaller airplanes historically did not have the ability to fly long legs. The flexibility of this airplane to fly close to 3,500 nautical miles gives you the opportunity to go to different markets, as opposed to historically where the economics weren't great and the flexibility wasn't great. And again, I would add, when you go inside this airplane and the passengers realize that there's really yep. no difference to a from between that and a traditional mainline airplane, and in some ways, quite honestly, this airplane is ahead in terms of the size of the windows, the height of the cabin, on and on. It's, it's the latest technology that's out there. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.